वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई डिस्कस अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग इवेंट दैट इज नोन एज एस पी ए सी सिस्टेम इन प्लैंड फिजियोलॉजी द एस पी ए सी सिस्टेम इज नोन एज सॉयल प्लैंड एटमोसफेयर कॉन्टिनम सिस्टेम हेयर इज ए डायग्राम दैट शोज सॉयल प्लैंड एंड एटमोसफेयर रिलेशनशिप The soil plant atmosphere continuum system is the pathway of water absorption from soil and then into the plant tissue and finally will follow the xylem channel into the leaves and given back to atmosphere by transpiration let us discuss about spac system that means soil plant atmosphere continuum system spac system is a physically integrated dynamic system in which the various flow processes involving energy and matter occur simultaneously and independently it helps in the construction of different model helping in transport of water from different soil conditions to the plant the spac system include the pedological atmospheric and biological system of a place there are some factors that control spac system the factors are firstly soil particles and surface tension secondly water holding capacity and soil stabilization thirdly relative humidity and fourthly diffusion pressure deficit and osmotic pressure of plant cell here is a diagram that shows evapotranspiration that means transpiration and evaporation transpiration is an important biological event that helps to loss excess water from trees and grasses and evaporation is an physical event and run off water is lost and it recharges the ground water let us discuss about the first factor of spac system that is known as soil particles and surface tension it is controlled by different parameters firstly soil texture it is the composition of soil in terms of the proportion of small medium and large soil particles that means clay silt and sand respectively in a specific soil mass the soil texture depends on these particles here is a table diagram that shows different types of soil particles firstly gravel coarse sand fine sand silt and clay and in another table diagram there shows three types of soil texture firstly coarse soil secondly medium soil and thirdly fine soil here is a diagram that shows soil texture classification and it is depicted as a triangular structure the second parameter is soil structure the arrangement of soil particles into stable units 
called aggregates which give the structure of soil aggregates can be loose and miscible or they can form distinct uniform patterns to discuss about soil particles and surface tension soil porosity is the third important parameter it is the space between soil particles which contains variable amounts of water and air water can be held tighter in small pores than in large ones so fine soils are capable of holding more water than the coarse soils here is a table diagram that shows types of soil size of soil particles soil porosity and water holding capacity fine soil has larger amount of water holding capacity and coarse soil has smaller amount of water holding capacity the fourth important parameter is water infiltration it is the movement of water from the soil surface into the soil profile wide pore spacing at the soil surface increases the rate of water infiltration so coarse soils have a higher infiltration rate than fine soils here is a diagram that shows graphical relationship of available water capacity and unavailable water capacity in soil and it represents the water availability in different types of soil soil permeability is an another important parameter of the first factor soil particles and surface tension it is the movement of air and water through the soil it affects the supply of rhizosphere air moisture and nutrients available for plant uptake a soil's permeability is determined by the relative rate of moisture and air movement through the most restrictive layer within the upper 40 inches of the effective root zone here is a table diagram that shows type of soil and soil permeability in case of coarse soil water and air rapidly permeate and in case of fine soil water and air slowly permeate surface tension is an another important parameter of the factor soil particles and surface tension the cohesive forces between liquid molecules are responsible for the phenomenon known as surface tension water at 20 degree centigrade temperature has a surface tension of 72.8 dynes per centimeter as compared to 22.3 for ethyl alcohol and 465 for mercury increase in surface tension reduces the permeability of water through the soil particles
the second important factor of spac system is water holding capacity and soil stabilization the total amount of water present in the soil denotes its filled capacity the total amount of soil water equals to gravitational water plus chemically combined water plus capillary water and adsorbed water the capillary water is available for the plant it will represent the water holding capacity of the soil and the amount of water present in the soil when the plant shows wilting is called wilting coefficient water holding capacity is controlled primarily by soil texture and organic matter when the organic matter percentage increases in soil the water holding capacity increases because of the affinity of organic matter towards water here is a table diagram that shows soil texture class and available water holding capacity in case of silty loam soil available water holding capacity is maximum that means 2.00 to 2.50 and minimum water holding capacity in coarse sand that means 0.25 to 0.75 let us discuss about the factor water holding capacity and soil stabilization soils with smaller particles that means silt and clay have a larger surface area than larger sand particles a large surface area allows a soil to hold more water a soil with a high percentage of silt and clay particles that means fine soil has a higher water holding capacity water availability is determined by the water holding capacity excess or gravitational water drains quickly from the soil after a heavy shower because of the pull by the gravitational forces plants use small amounts of this water that means gravitational water before it moves out of the rhizosphere Here is a diagram that shows relationship between soil water and plant. let us discuss about the second factor of spac system that means water holding capacity and soil stabilization available water is retained in the soil after the excess water has been drained out that means filled capacity this water is the most important for crop or forage production plants can use approximately 50% of it without exhibiting stress but if less than 50% is available drought stress may result unavailable water is the soil moisture that is held so tightly by the soil that it cannot be extracted by the plant thus water may remain in the soil even below plant's wilting point here is a diagram that shows spac system and it is expressed in three points firstly water absorption from soil 
secondly water flows into the leaves through the xylem and thirdly water back to atmosphere by transpiration this picture expresses the interrelationship between soil plant and atmosphere The third factor of SPSE system is relative humidity. Let us discuss about relative humidity. The amount of water vapor that exists in a gaseous mixture of air and water vapor is known as relative humidity. The relative humidity will drop by a factor of 2 for each 20 degree Fahrenheit or 10 degree centigrade increase in temperature assuming conservation of absolute moisture. This will reduce the water content of the soil and will limit the water availability to the plant roots. Here is a diagram that shows flow paths in SPSE system. Here water moves from soil to plant and then return to atmosphere by transpiration. Water moves from soil via cortical cell, endodermis, stele and reach to leaf mesophyll and from leaf mesophyll it return back into atmosphere by stomata. The fourth important factor of SPSE system is diffusion pressure deficit and osmotic pressure of plant cell. Let us discuss about the role of diffusion pressure deficit and osmotic pressure of plant cell in water absorption. The capillary water content of the soil is controlled by the osmotic potential and the increase in the solute potential reduce the water absorption ability. The water extraction rate by the plant roots from the soil is not constant and follows a diurnal cycle. Usually it is relatively low in the early morning hours but increases gradually till afternoon. The water extraction rate depends on the size of the plant, the density of the root, the resistance faced by the water molecules to enter the plant roots and the evaporative conditions prevailing in that place. Here is a diagram that shows soil profile to show principal horizons. Plant root absorb water from top soil only and it helps in continuing the physiological processes of plant.